So this video is a breakdown of a landing page that I did for a private community a few months ago. It's a very detailed breakdown of a landing page that has been generating millions and millions of dollars. And I explain why it works, how it works, and how you can apply the same things to your own landing pages. So without further ado, let's dive in. This landing page has generated at least $1 million in revenue. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down the structure of this landing page and share how you can apply the same principles to your own business and your own landing pages. So let's dive right in. First of all, why does this page convert so well? Now, the first thing when you land on this page is you see the headline, right? And before the headline, there is this little pre-headline here and it says open letter to all dog parents. Now, what this does is it immediately calls out the target audience, right? Because you're you're talking to dog parents, right? So if you're a dog parent, you're gonna listen and you're gonna read the next line. And the next line is the headline itself. And, and these two lines here are arguably the most important parts of this landing page. And probably, you know, that the headline and anything around the headline is gonna be the most important part of any landing page itself, um, especially one that's driven for, that's designed and driven for conversions, right? So this headline here, it starts with vet reveals. And by using the words vet reveals, like you automatically know that it's a vet. And if you're a dog owner, like who are you gonna trust more with your dog's health, right? You're not gonna trust anyone but your vet, right? So immediately builds trust, even like subconsciously, it's gonna build trust with the reader. And then it says her biggest secret for keeping dogs active well into their golden years. Now, the use of the words biggest secret is just building curiosity. As humans, you know, we're curious by nature. We want to understand and, and yeah, we want to know what the secret is, right? Um, and then for keeping dogs active well into their golden years, this kind of goes against a common belief that the reader will have, right? Because the common belief is that as dogs get older, they become less active, right? So being able to keep dogs active well into their golden years, it kind of piques curiosity again and says, you know, in the, the, the mind of the reader is like, okay, this is a claim. I want to understand, you know, why and how they're doing this. So just moving forward into the next few sections. So the structure of this page is, is structured in the, in the following way, right? It starts with breaking down common beliefs and yeah, breaking down common beliefs that, that customers and readers have. And the reason why they're doing this is because they understand that, you know, if they're gonna introduce their product to the reader and they haven't answered the common objections and, and beliefs, they're not going to be able to sell the product as well if they break down the common beliefs beforehand, they re-educate the reader on what is actually, in their case, the truth. And then it, it's much easier to introduce the product that meets and is in line with what they've just educated them on, right? So the, the, what they're doing here is that basically the, it's from the vet. The vet is speaking in first person and she's saying that you know, she's seen a lot, a lot of dogs. There's one thing that's common amongst them all and that's stiffening joints, right? So they're only talking about one thing. It's simplifying it. They're not talking about, you know, five different things. It's one focus, right? And it's easier for the reader to comprehend. So from here, they're saying, you know, don't dis disregard this issue as an old dog problem. Like a common belief is that, yeah, stiffening joints are common in dogs, but they only happen when dogs get old, right? But what they're saying here is that joint pain in dogs actually starts when they're really, really young. And this is really clever because they're, they're not only breaking an objection uh, and common belief, but they're also, what they're widening their target audience, right? They're saying, because joint pain starts in dogs that are really young, you need to start taking care of your dogs that are really young, right? Which means they're not only talking to dog owners and, and their customers can not only be dog owners who have dogs that are 10 years old, but also dogs that are one years old, right? So it's, really widening the target audience. It's really smart and it's a really good way to go about this. Now, if we continue down the page, the next thing they do is they use a metaphor of a rusty bike to explain their point and visualize that point. And this is good because it just allows your, your reader to see it in a different dimension and it, it visualizes it for them, right? So they can connect the dots in their own mind. So when thinking about your own business and your own landing pages, it's good to think about, okay, what common beliefs can we break down in our customers and our readers? And how can we visualize the point even further? If there's a very clear problem solution, or if there's a very clear, clear pain point, using metaphor is a great way because 
it's yeah, it just connects the dots in your reader's mind, right? It, especially if it's like a something a little bit more abstract, um, using something that is more commonly known, like everyone knows and has seen a rusty bike before. So this, it just makes a lot of sense. Now, if we scroll down here, they start to get into the problem a little bit more, right? So they say that it's not normal to to have stiffening joints, right? So they're, you know, again breaking down a common belief. Dog owners think that it's normal for dogs to have stiffening joints. You know, it's just something that happens and that's it. But by saying it's not normal, again, it's going against the conventional belief and they're explaining why, right? So another thing that they're doing is they're pulling on a lot of emotion, right? So saying that, you know, your dog may not be around for as long as you think it, think it will be, right? So they're pulling on a lot of emotion and saying, like, if you don't act now, if you don't look after your dog, then they're probably not going to be around for much longer. And then they start providing value, right? So they're saying, look, yes, it's a problem. However, there is a solution. And these are the things you must look out for in your dog, right? So they're providing value. The customer is actually, the reader is actually learning a lot of things here, right? So it just keeps them, they, they see what's in it for them. So it keeps them engaged and it keeps them reading for the rest of the letter. Now, if we continue to scroll down, they start to introduce the four must-have ingredients that the dogs need to take care of the stiffened joints. And what this company understands is that their readers, as soon as they learn what these ingredients are, they're going to go and research them online, they're gonna go and try and find them somewhere else, maybe on Amazon, for a cheaper price. So what they do to combat this is they say, look, don't get these from any you know, supermarket or online store um, and they kind of just say, look, we're going to explain why later. And then they introduce the ingredients. Now, the thing about these ingredients is that, yes, they can be bought elsewhere, but they frame the ingredients in a way that they are a specific quality, meaning they are you know, better absorbed, meaning they are faster acting, right? There's just like a, I guess, like a higher quality to the ingredients than the ones you're going to find, you know, in a supermarket or on Amazon, okay? So they explain... Each of these four ingredients, they provide visuals um, to show you that, you know, in this case, you know, it's real food. In this case, you know, it's a chemical, uh, sorry, a compound. Um, so once they go through these four ingredients, they then reiterate, don't get these from anywhere else. You need to be getting the ones that are, you know, bioavailable. They are, which means they're better absorbed by the body. Um, they're higher quality, right? They're actually going to make a difference rather than just being, um, yeah, rather than not making any difference at all. So that is a really, really important thing to do there. And, and I would encourage you to, to think the same, especially if you have a product that has ingredients that, you know, ultimately customers can buy individually is explaining how your ingredients are better and a higher quality and that, you know, they are a lot more expensive to buy individually or they may, they may not even be able to, to be purchased individually, you know, the, the quality of ingredient that you have, right? So it makes it a little bit more... Um, exclusive to, to what you're offering. Now, the next thing they do here is that they start to introduce the product. And the cool thing about this is that it doesn't seem threatening, right? It doesn't seem that I'm being like hard, hard, like it's not a hard sell, right? And I feel like they've given me enough value and that this product is actually good for my dog, right? Especially because, because it's coming from the recommendation of a vet, right? So there's already that like pre-built trust and foundation that, you know, what's coming next is going to be a lot less threatening than, you know, a hard sell. Now, underneath the product, they talk about their unique mechanism, which is the way the product is made, right? And what a unique mechanism is, is it's the thing that separates your product from the competitors, right? So what really makes yours different? And the way that this company is talking about their unique mechanism is they started to introduce their ingredients, which can be part of your unique mechanism, but also the way that those ingredients are combined and made is a main unique mechanism that this product has over others. Um, again, as I, was, as I was talking about, you can buy the ingredients separately, but the way they kind of interact with each other and the way they're made together is the unique mechanism, right? So they talk about their unique ambient linking process, so they have a name for it, right? So it, it, it decommoditizes the product from others as well because it's, it's something unique to this product only, and it's unlikely that you're gonna be able to find this anywhere else. So. Think about what your unique mechanisms are and talk about those because it's going to separate you from the competition. It's going to, the, the reader's going to, to start to think like, okay, this is very unique. Um, other 
you know, other products that I'm going to research online or other ones I've already seen, they haven't spoke about this thing. And it kind of like creates, um, your reader just sees your product as, as higher quality and better and, an, and like a better option for them because there is this one thing or maybe a few different things that is making it a lot different than the ones that they've seen, right? Or other products that they've seen online. Now, if we scroll down here, you can see that they have the call to action button. Quick, cool thing about this call to action button is that it mimics the style of an Amazon button. And the reason why this is done is because it's very familiar to the, uh, the reader, right? And it kind of builds a little bit more trust subconsciously. Then what they do here is they start to introduce some uh, customer reviews, right? So they're talking about social proof. They start to introduce some more trust with these, um, you know, sponsored content logos. Um, and then they're saying it's loved by dog parents and proven by dogs, right? So they're, you know, more social proof here, um, you know, proven by over 1 million dogs and counting. It's a ton of social proof. So that is the structure of this page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to this page below the video. And what I'd like you to do is, is see how you can apply the same principles we spoke about to your business and your products. So I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions down below and I'll be happy to answer and help. Thank you.